the One Year Fellowship Program put together by the Cardinal Onayekon Foundation for Peace is one out of many peace projects of the Foundation meant to train and equip participants who are fellows in the program to better manage grassroots levels. After months of kicking off the Peace Fellowship Program and introducing the courses in the first model to the participants, Cardinal Onayekon Foundation for Peace has resumed the second model of the fellowship program. These are our esteemed, revered, respected leaders, COFP, fellows from all over the country. We have people from as far as Lagos, Sokoto, Enugu, Anambra. I told them this morning that I am so much challenged by their zeal. The second model dwelled on the dynamics and conflicts in Nigeria and the basic skills in peace mediation handled by the different facilitators. Mr. Smith Anton, a political counselor from the United States of America Embassy, was present to observe the workshop as the fellows shared their experiences in the course of the program. Well, this program has actually been eye-opening for me. Um, during the first module, I was able to learn more about the other. I was able to learn about various doctrines and Christianity. I was able to clear some misconceptions that I had about Christianity. I was able to understand more what the church is all about, how the Catholic Church differs from the others and the relationship between all of them. And towards the end of the module, I was also able to gain an insight into peace building and dialogue and how dialogue is important towards our efforts as peacemakers. In this second module, I've been able to learn about conflict management, conflict analysis, and how to navigate the waters of peace building and interreligious as well as interethnic dialogue. Before the first module, there are issues I don't understand between the two religions. More especially, issue has to do with uh, common ground and even core values as other religions. In fact, as a result of the first module training, I was be able to understand uh, things like this and uh, immediately I get back to my own uh, community that is community of person with disability I organize a step down training or experience I accumulated as a result of the training I share among my group that is persons with disability because we be belong from different faiths and even sects uh, in fact it really worked very well in uh, having a cordial relationship among a uh, person with disability despite uh, this issue of uh, religious tribalism and other has not really deepened into the community of persons with disability but with the step down training i organized in fact it really went well in the united states growing up in the american south temperatures were boiling there were two communities that often came to blows uh, it was blacks and whites that was the separation that i experienced when i was a young man but if I look back over the history of the United States, the, the very deep and severe problems that we had, the, the things that separated us so much uh, at that time, a few years ago now, a few decades ago, and then I look with, with fond recollection of when my country uh, elected the first black African leader as, uh, as president of the United States to show how far we had come in a relatively short amount of time. It gave me great hope. Uh, it is the reason why I have a son. He's actually mixed race, like our former president, uh, my wife. Almost impossible to, to imagine when I was a, a child his age that I would one day marry a woman who was black from Africa. So there is great hope. Wherever we find ourselves, let us preach peaceful coexistence. Let us identify the criminals who are exploring our differences. Expose them and not associate our good sides with the crime. We are all wonderful people outside Yoruba, Igbo, Funani. Very wonderful people that have existed, lived together over years. No, they are all farmers. One is farming cow. One is finding what? Cross. So there is that is happening now. And my other colleagues are here.
The program is unique, uh, the program is timely, and this program is particularly good because it's targeting the right people, uh, because I have seen for the first time all factors and factions within our faith are part of this uh, intervention. I've lived in quite a few countries in my life, 12, and while I would not claim to be a great communicator, am I, there's something I actively have to work on every day. And even sitting in the back of the room, I've learned things today, particularly maybe about how I could better communicate with Nigerians. But I think there might be a couple of things that I've learned, and I hope you don't mind if I share it with you. And that is, we're all humans. We cut, it sounds rather trite, but we all bleed the same colour. We have far much more in common than we think. And I've learned that empathy, the ability to listen, which I've not always been good at, and a smile can make such a difference in, you know, bringing people together. I felt that I was now insignificant within the Adamawa community and might not be able to contribute anything meaningful again as far as the peace enterprise of our state was concerned. Not until I was uh, co-opted or inducted into this uh, Cardinal Onayakan Foundation during the first module that we came, and I now began to realize, especially with that uh, parabolic story of the hummingbird that was told to us, discovered that no, even if I'm not a big shot now in the state, I can still contribute my quota in peace building, not only in Adamawa state, not only in Nigeria, but even in the whole world, as insignificant as I may be, or as I think I am. So it's really a pleasure to have you, and I assure you that this is the team of the future. Um, yeah, this is the most inclusive group in the day group that I have facilitated in a long while. Having the Ahmadiyya here, the Shia here, the Pentecostal here, the Catholic here, the Cochin here, the Evangelic House, and a group of other uh, brothers from the Sufi order, and all over. I'm just impressed at the capacity of this um, the foundation to, to drag such quality uh, people to this meeting. And we have the, the cattle farmers, I mean the uh, livestock, livestock farmers association. Yeah, livestock farmers, which they call the Native Allah. They are here, and then we also so have the, the, yeah, sure. So, yeah. so we are so excited. So please, thank you very much. Everybody say, peace.